how to make this gorgeous cork beaded garland statement piece. All the details coming right up. Yes, this is one large plastic king size comforter bag filled with my recycled cork from the past few years. Cork is, without a doubt, the material of choice for recycling. It is today's choice for making our beads for our beautiful garland statement piece. Hi, it's Marcy. If you're new to my channel or you are a returning viewer, thank you for stopping by and watching. It inspires me to share with you creative content like garden art, DIY, and healthy garden recipes. Life is art, make it your masterpiece. For today's project, you will need cork, lots of it, some twine or jute or some type of cording, masking tape or scotch tape or duct tape, it doesn't make any difference, your preference, some super glue is always nice, scissors, serrated knife, a drill and drill bit, and this drill bit should match what you're using for a cording, the same circumference. And I'm also using a piece of styrofoam and that is going to protect my table when I'm cutting my cork. And this is optional, this is an awl. You can also use a screw. Before we randomly start cutting our corks, we're gonna to wanna to figure out how many we're actually going to need. So for that, I'm gonna take my cording, in this case, I'm using the jute, and I'm gonna run it up against my measuring stick here. That's 24 inches, 48, and I think I'm gonna do 52. And I'm gonna add on a little bit more just because. Cut it right here. So with each cork being a little less, yeah, it's a little shy of two inches. It's about one three quarters inch. And I have a 52 inch strand. So based on say 50 inch strand, you're gonna need at least 25 corks plus. So in my case, I'm going to need um, 30 plus. Now what I'm gonna do is take the tape that we have and wrap your end here of your cording. Now I'm doing this to the jute because of course it's fraying at the end. It's gonna make it infinitesimally easier if I wrap the tape around and use that to go through my bead. All right, we are all set to go for the beading part of it. Let's proceed to finish up with cutting our corks as well as making the holes. All right. So we're gonna do it about a quarter of an inch. So get comfortable, because we have a bunch of corks to cut. It's always nice if you have another set of helping hands. Just go straight down and you're good to go. Now these don't have to be exact. It's probably gonna be much more interesting if they're not exact. Okay, that about does it for the cutting. We are good to go to start our holes to make our beads. I found one of the easiest ways to do this is to take my awl and puncture a hole first, like so. And then take the drill and go through and make a larger hole. Now, of course, this you can't just use this because that will never do, but it makes it easier for the drill bit to stay focused on going down and making the hole complete. The second way to do it is to take and to do a low and slow on the drill and holding it tightly between your fingers, start off really slow. And then, and then there you have it, something like that, okay? So there's two different ways that you can do it, whatever way works best for you. Okay. I'm gonna start our beading and it couldn't be any easier. All right, before we go any further, what I want to do is take this ending here where we began putting the beads on, I guess it's the beginning, and I want to knot it.
like so. Just an overhand knot will do. All right, and we'll just continue on with our beading. I'm gonna take off this tape right here, and make a knot, just a simple overhand, just like we did at the beginning for the other one, at the other end. You wanna make sure that these are fairly snug, not so snug that they can't bend comfortably, but you wanna make sure that they're fairly snug. This is really fabulous. I love it, love it, love it, but we're not done yet. Get ready to make tassels for your ends. You can opt to tie this together and have one large tassel at the end, or you can do one tassel for each end. I'm opting for one tassel for each end. I'm going to make a full and abundant looking tassel. I'm using the same jute that I did throughout this whole process. Get yourself a piece of carton. This is about four inches here this way and I'm gonna go widthwise here. And I'm gonna wrap about 70 times. I'm gonna take a separate piece of jute and I'm going to run it underneath here. And come up here and tie it off. Nice and tight, right at the top. I'm gonna do is come down here and you can either take it off like so and keep your finger where the carton was going to be or is okay and then what you're gonna do is cut it right here okay kind of looks like cousin it huh <laughs> right about here, wrap it here, and then I'm going to, leaving that one free and make sure these are free. I'm gonna wrap around. I'm gonna be cutting out the excess. Nice. Here's my second one. Hmm. Actually, I actually don't think I have to cut too much off that. It's looking pretty good, but I will cut off a few of these. Pretty. All right. simply going to do is go up here tie another overhand knot there's other ways that you can do this by the way this isn't the only way there's other simple ways this is something I've just found easy enough all I'm simply doing is an overhand knot twice now make sure, okay, now I'm using jute, as I said, make sure that when you're making this really tight that you're not making it too tight because earlier on I, I pulled it so hard to make it tight that one of the strands came off. But fortunately I have another strand there. There's always something that you can do to make up for that, but it was too, too strong. I'm gonna leave that on until I finish out this other one. So as a sidebar here, I found that when I was knotting, I liked the look of a chunkier knotting system versus this. What I did was I added an extra string, an extra piece of jute 
and I am wrapping and just kind of twisting it around to make it more substantial looking. And I love, love, love this look. Really, really taking a fancy to this. So the extra strings or jute, I should say, whatever you're using, I am not cutting. I'm simply knotting and re-knotting to get this look. Now, if you like this look better, by all means, keep that look. I'm actually gonna add on to that as well. And for this one, I'm gonna get myself a working string here, a working piece of jute. I'm gonna do the same thing. Getting value from this video? Consider subscribing to my channel for weekly inspiration. Last but not least, I'm going to take a little bit of this super glue and put that where the knots were made so it doesn't decide to slip out of me. Perfect. Girls and I would like to thank you for joining us today. Have a beautiful day.